E aí, amigos, sejam bem-vindos a mais uma gameplay de Vampira aqui pro canal, logo após a vinheta. Pois bem, galera, estamos aqui no capítulo Causas e Efeitos. Bora pra ação, pau no gato! Vamos lá, amigos, continuando aqui a nossa jornada. Aqui, já peguei tudo que eu precisava. Tem mais alguma coisa aqui? Não, não. O que eu devo fazer? Conte a Edgar sobre o sangue de Hasvan. Vamos lá contar pra ele, bora. Opa, pego aqui. Vou pegar tudo, pega tudo. It's locked, all right. Tá trancado essa porta. Pico pé, rapaz. Já falei. Cadê o doutor? Doutorzinho. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. Hmm. A strain of flu. It's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This Seja direto, rapaz. spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Já não é o suficiente, doutor. Oh. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here. But it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. Você quer fama, né, doutor? Oh. What do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Ih, mais notícias, Vasco. I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister. She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. O olho estava no túmulo. Não está mais. E aí, tem alguma coisa que eu possa afanar aqui, doutor? Tem. Uma carta. Só isso? Mais nada pra mim aqui, pô. Ixi, devo ir longe agora. Com certeza não é mais aqui. Vou descer. Hum. É pra lá? É pra lá que eu vou! Eu nunca pensei que eu deveria assistir a Vou até o cemitério, vou ter que ver o sepultamento da minha mana. Cemitério sinistro! Você 
Since I can't reveal myself to my mother, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Caramba, que cena legal, meio triste, né? Oh, Mary, what have I done? Matou, né, amigão? If I could only change one thing, one thing, this is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. Como você sabia, Lady? What brings you? Ashbury. I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss. Obrigado. Mano. She was a good person. Vibrant. Full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind. Shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Oh, no, I'm not going to lose you. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Oh, look. Até a igreja Rezar um pouquinho
Tá aberto, eu não acredito. E não. Tá bom demais pra ser verdade. é bruto. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon. Ascalon. Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Ah, tá, ele vai ser meu sair fora. These immortals try my patience. With their plans and unselfish. <laughs> 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 Deixa eu rezar um pouco. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. Eu não sabe, tá com a memória ruim, hein? I don't know. Mary, you. you seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. Caramba. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. What they lack in the soul, Peter did deal us and the Lord. He took the last priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now. And live your life in the way she would have wanted. Olha, gostei da atitude desse padre, meu. Remorse and pain are precious. 
Hum. Puta, eu vou ter que encontrar de novo o Edgar. Derrotar os escalos e salvar a mulher solitária. Ela quer salvar alguém? Opa! É o próprio capiroto, bicho, olha! Olha o chifre dele! Que de acha vampiro esquisito é você, rapaz? Tell me what you are. I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood course through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Eu quero saber de tretar com serpente, rapaz. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of entity, or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? Vai continuar meu papo ali com o doutor. Opa, para ali. Ei, olha quem tá aqui. Protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You said you were a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Vou arrancar as torreira mudida. Não tem medo de cara feia, não. Sacred ground, neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was... Ah, hell's gone. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after oh, all. So he became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Oh, I will put an end to this. If you don't mind, 
I have a few questions. I'd be delighted to help you if I'm able. I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused me of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing with them these days. He was observing me with the obvious intent to do me harm. His very presence evoked a palpable sense of menace. You need to be careful, Jonathan. You've no idea what this creature really is. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. If you find anything more about this creature, the Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial, to say the least. Is this proof that I'm cursed in the eyes of the Divine? The wrath of the Almighty? There's no way of knowing. It could be subconscious guilt, or irrational fear, or deep-seated beliefs. It's hard to explain in terms of science, that's for sure. I'm sure Lady Ashbury will have far greater insight into this matter than little old me. What exactly happened here while I was absent? Hampton Turk. Acabou de falar, meu. Aconteceu uma tragédia aí. Lurking about. Attacked Miss Jones. To say he created quite a commotion would be an understatement. Are you sure it was Hampton that killed Miss Jones? Oh, there was blood everywhere, but no body. And you know the state she was in? I fear for what he did with her. Hopefully he just hid the corpse. How did the guard of Prewin come to hear of this? McCullum has spies everywhere. Macu he will jump at any opportunity to disparage Macu the Brotherhood and show his Macu contempt. Macu Who was that man in your office? Jeffrey McCullum. McCullum. Actual leader ah, of the McCullum. guard of Prewin. I suspect he's the man behind the rebirth of this old and dusty society. What do they hope to achieve? Their ultimate goal is the eradication of all vampires in the country. They see you as a threat to mankind, Jonathan. They know I'm here now, don't they? I can guarantee one thing. The guard of Prewen would never dare to attack the hospital while I'm in charge here. Thank you, Edgar. Sean Hampton lives and breathes the well-being of his flock. There's no other place to go but the docks. Vou sair correndo que nem um desesperado. Vixe, é sangue aqui mesmo, hein? Sangue pra todo lado. É muito sangue. Foolish girl. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a from the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I ain't paying any bill left by clay. I'm not here to collect payment, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying then? something from me, maybe? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. Sad, really. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. Ooh. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt. Oh, yeah. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. 
Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. Ah, yeah? What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Oh, me mostra o que eu quiser. Tô louco. É que isso aqui? É que é tudo de sobra, meu. Só bala que não, bala é bom ter mais. Tchau, mulher chata. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of the blood. I'm a tracker of these creatures. Oh, God, the bar. Hey, what are you? Stay Good, evening, you Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, or? No, so <laughs> hologram. Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him, quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I, you, oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Yeah, I I the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Valeu. Opa, mais informações úteis. Mais alguma pergunta pessoal? Não. Videos. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town. Oh. I see. How I got us off. You're something of a figurehead around. I'm only pouring alcohol. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. How could a doctor's off? What can you tell me about who? Sure. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. We got my brother. Valeu. Tamo junto. Shut the turquoise. And nice. Are they stupid? Yeah, yeah, never did me. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy oh, talks. I'm myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'll try to remember you. 
this time. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I try asking Tom what's about him. Mr. Delaney. Mais um combate aqui galera, vou ficando por aqui, se não é um inscrito, por favor se inscreva, deixa aquele like gigante e comenta aí o que você tá achando da série, olha lá, ó, o cara vem com lança chamas, vou trazer no próximo vídeo essa treta aqui, beleza? Um forte abraço, até lá, fui! E aí galera, gostaram do vídeo de hoje? Espero que sim. Não esqueçam de deixar o like. E para você que ainda não é inscrito no canal, se inscreva e ative o sininho para receber as notificações. Tem vídeos novos todas as semanas. Não esqueça de compartilhar nas suas redes sociais. Um forte abraço e até o próximo vídeo.